I don't I don't think there's like one best one, but I think all of the things in together make it a very good program. So the curriculum, the faculty, but then also the projects and um yeah, the chance to apply what you learn. My name is Angela Zell and then I'm based in Toronto, um, Ontario, Canada. And um, so I, I used to work in finance actually. So when I um, did my undergraduate degree, I studied finance and then I worked in finance in two, for two years in investment management at a mutual fund. But then like I, it was more like fundamental investing and it was discretionary investing. And I wanted to learn more about um, quantitative finance and algorithmic trading. And that's what led me to take the EPAT program. And then actually after um, taking the program, I actually wanted to learn even more knowledge. So I obtained a master's of data analytics at, um, um, at Western University. And like after that, I transitioned into a machine learning role. So now like I work as a data scientist and then um, actually very recently, I actually got a new job at a pension fund. So in the future, I will be working as a data scientist for a pension fund. So it, it would also be related to finance. And then like I think all of the knowledge that I learned from EPAT has really helped me make this kind of transition. So I want to learn more about um, quantitative finance and it's like it's very it's a very difficult industry to break into actually in Toronto because like there aren't really that many um, funds or or like hedge funds here that does that. Right. So then um, just to be like more competitive, I decided to get a master's in data analytics. So ever since. Um, so after I started working in finance, um, I realized that a lot of the money was flowing to the quantitative funds and everything was increasingly being automated. And I guess that's what motivated me to learn mm -hmm. more about um, just quantitative finance. So I've started trading by myself um, for a while, but then like when I was, when, when I was working, I didn't really trade that much it's just because I didn't really have that much time um, mm -hmm. for day trading or anything like that. So I don't, I, I trade like um, as a hobby, so it, I wouldn't say like oh, it's full time or part time, but it's like it's just as a hobby. And then I mostly trade futures and maybe stocks, equities. So my future um, career goal or my vision is to become like an algorithmic trader at a company. And I think like I'm moving closer to that by becoming like a data scientist at a pension fund where I also help to make the models to predict um yeah, to, to make predictions about the financial markets. In the um, beginning of my career, I worked in finance, but then I was doing fundamental investing. So I was picking um, equities and fixed income products based on the company's fundamentals. So back then I was reading uh -huh. like annual reports. I was doing due diligence on all of these companies. I was just trying to figure out if they are a good long term investment. And then like eventually, my interest kind of moved towards algorithmic trading and into something that's more quantitative as opposed to doing so much due diligence and spending like maybe weeks of research on one company. It would more to be building like an overarching strategy that can be used for um, for anything. And then like, that's how I got into um, learning about algorithmic trading with EPAT. To me, I, I feel like if you don't understand statistics, um, you won't even understand the results that you're getting, right? So even if you do a back test and you get some, like getting get some results, like it, it's hard to not understand what it means because some people who are just new to algorithmic trading, they only look at absolute returns and they ignore the other like facets. They don't like care about the risk. They don't care about um, the other parts of the strategy, right? They don't look at the maximum drawdown stuff like that, and then. In terms of like understanding like what like the sharp ratio means or like or any of the like ratios like the Sortino or anything else, um, it's very useful to have an understanding of statistics. So before I started working, when I was in school, I did a little bit of trading myself. But then after I started working, and then I was you know working from nine to five, and that was during when the markets were open. I couldn't really trade anymore in terms of just like 
at least I couldn't, I could, I could like invest, but I couldn't like do short term trading anymore. And then, um, so I just thought, oh, it would be great if I could automate it so I don't have to look at it during the day when I'm working. And I think that's、mm -hmm. like one of、um, my first motivations for getting into it. I was looking online for different resources to help me get into algorithmic trading. And then、um, what I found was that most of the resources, like, you know, maybe like some YouTube videos or some blog articles, they were too like basic. They might teach you how to make like a kind of like a hello world kind of trading program,、mm -hmm. but they didn't really get into like any of the specifics, right? And then、mm -hmm. so、I just wanted something more comprehensive. And then like after doing a lot of research, I found that like EPAT was probably one of the most comprehensive programs. And then it has, um, um, I looked at the people on the board. It had very, people who are very, like, accomplished and are very knowledgeable about the topic. So then that's why I chose Quantity. I, I think it just gave me overall, like, a better picture of, um, what I need to know because there were some things that a lot of, like, the blogs talk about. Maybe, like, oh, make a strategy with moving crossovers or, um, just simple indicators like that. But then there were also, like, Statistical concepts like co integration and stuff that no one really ever talks about on the blogs, but then,、um, because maybe like they think it's too boring for the audience or maybe they don't know it themselves, but it's just、um, Quantum State is a very broad curriculum. So it kind of teaches me everything that I need to know about,、um, about quant trading. All the faculty at Quantum State is phenomenal. Like, if you ask them a question, they'll reply quite promptly. And then,、um, even like with the placement team and with Dips, if I ever have any question, I just ask them, like, ask her on WhatsApp, and then she replies very quickly. So, it's, it's been a very helpful talking to these people. So, the placement team is like very helpful because they answer like any questions I have about any potential role. And then、um, they also like follow up with me. Uh, yeah, so they also like follow up with me once in a while just to see how I'm doing,、uh, where I'm at, what I'm doing, and then、um, whether or not I'd be interested in any type of positions. So they were very proactive. So, like, even after I graduated from the program,、um, I still like they still keep in contact with me and make sure that like I'm like following the career path that like that I want. So, I think、um, I, I really much I, I very much appreciate that. I don't think there's like one best one, but I think all of the things in together make it a very good program. So, the curriculum, the faculty, but then also the projects, and、um, yeah, the chance to apply what you learn. I think my biggest tip is just to like don't be intimidated and just try to actually try to do it yourself. Because, like, I think a lot of people see the industry and see like a lot of PhDs or people who are.、Um, Highly educated, and then they think, oh, they can't do it unless they have a PhD or they don't have the knowledge to. But then I think after taking like the EPAC course, anyone who takes the EPAC course, they have like the full knowledge, they are fully capable of creating strategies on their own. And I think the last step is just to actually go out and do it because、um, some people I feel like they know the knowledge, but then they're too scared to implement anything. Because they feel like they can't do it, but then when they actually try, they realize that, oh, like they do have the capability to do it. So I encourage everyone to、um, just to apply their knowledge and just to try doing it on their own.